Hello everyone, Splash here, and today we're back in Enshrouded for a little base tour. The village is all built now, so it's about time we have a look at it. Also, I have received some questions about this farm, so at the end of this clip, there is a little guide to how to build it. The cornfield to the right here was the first addition to the farm. It's just a layer of dirt with a fence around it. All paths are lowered a bit into the ground to make them look old and juiced. I made this tannery a bit outside of the village because tanning leather smells really bad and you don't want that close to the houses. All the fields are built in terraces to both save on materials and space. I have built up the bottom ledge with stone to give the field a more natural curve. This is what it looks like when nothing is growing there, because I just harvested all the strawberries. Alright, so for the building of the farm you need dirt, any dirt will do, but farm soil looks better. Also, things grow a bit faster with it. Is it just me though, or do the reach from the magic chests leave a little bit to wish for? I am not running over to the alchemist's house right now for materials, so yeah, I'm gonna grab what I can grab here. Also, you need a build block, any kind of build block you want. This is the size we're using. Flatten the ground a bit where you're going to place the farm soil, because we don't want pockets of air under the soil. That might make some of the farmland unusable for certain plants. Place the first layer of soil just on top of the ground and flatten it out with your rake. Then you build up with a second layer because you need two layers of dirt to make sure the plants will grow. Now we have soil and dirt under here, so that's not an issue, but if you're building on, on stone, you really need two layers of dirt. I'm trying to make the terraces a bit different from one another in shape and size because that will give it a more dynamic look. And uh, if you can see here, we're going to add one more row here just because of that. Thank you. 
So if you have enough dirt, you can plant pretty much anything in here. These tend to be a bit sensitive, I've noticed. And they seem to like to grow here. No problem then. While we were running through the field, I mentioned that I wanted a more natural curve towards the bottom part of the field. And this is how I made it. I built it with stone and then I added dirt, of course, or soil actually, because it looks more grey. And you have to rotate the blocks and switch around with other kinds of blocks to make it look natural. But you can make it look pretty good. If you get holes like these, just fill them up with stone, but only if you're certain of the fact that you can build up with at least two layers of soil on top of it. Thanks for watching. Bye.